do you have a Porsche speedometer? Has it been taken apart before? And somebody's trying to get back into it to replace the gear and you're finding that you can't remove the bezel. So that's what's happening to this one. I've already gotten the bezel loose all the way around and it's not coming off. So let's find out why. It's super stuck right here. I should be able to push this off over the lip of the body and it's not. So something's holding it. So we're gonna remove this gently so we don't damage this bezel. The bezel came up in really banged up. You can actually see, see all these little dents right here? That's from somebody taking a tool and trying to pry this lip back and then they're using the top as a lever, right? Don't ever do that because you'll just mar up the face of the bezel. The face has been really messed up. All these little pock marks all over. Almost looks like somebody used some touch-up paint right there. There it is. So I don't see any glue remnants. Um, I just see some really, really marred up. Uh, you have to get this thing kind of bent to, to get it uh, to remove the bezel anyways, but this one is magnificently marred up. I mean, it's... That's, that's not good right there. So it's off, it's removed. So that's how you, that's how you take it all apart. Um, just go real nice and easy and you can't use anything on the top edge, nothing. You can only use a tiny little spoon to pry up from the side, that's it. So the odometer didn't work on this car. So uh, we've got the, uh, the lower motor carrier i'm going to call this the motor carrier it, it houses two motors right one motor for the odometer and one motor for the speedometer right so this motor for the odometer it's got a separate motor um see how the screw right here that the plastic base is broken out that's why our threads are exposed you can see how the motor rocks back and forth because the screw's loose, right? So is that enough to not contact the gear? The gear actually was not a problem because that little orange, that red orange gear right there usually comes out broken. Somebody didn't put the E-clip back on. So see this E-clip on here? There should be an E-clip on that upper axle up there and it is not there. So somebody was into this thing, right? It's no big deal, we'll fix it for them. So we're just going to gently set this back on as if it was in the motor case. And then some screws go around here after it kind of sits down. You have to be very careful with this because there's a circuit board and everything's kind of just floating around right now in test position. Okay, but it just kind of snapped into position, right? So we got that happening. If we come back over here and we can see the gear is contacting this worm gear that would that would spin it but if i pull this back with the looseness of the of this screw now this spins and doesn't make contact with this rotating gear that would be otherwise rotating the worm gear so this piece is loose so what we're going to try and do this piece is could be stripped out we don't really know we're going to try to tighten it Let's see what happens. It's definitely very loose as you can see. Okay, so that's tight now. There's only one screw holding that on, by the way. This rear is just kind of captured by this little pocket. All right, and that's it. So just this one little screw holds this whole assembly in. So now it feels nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. It's contacting that gear, so that's good. It's gonna make a contact. We're going to put in a speedometer gear on this one just for good measure because it does look old. It's kind of got like that shiny appearance to it. We're just gonna put one in for good measure. Um, and, it, and it is hard to turn. So we're actually gonna take that apart and service that bearing inside there, which is just a like a plain bearing. We're gonna service the axle, I should say, because they get like a bunch of plastic gunk on them. Uh, and kind of it should spin freer than that. I should be able to kind of like 
throw it like that and it should spin much freer than what it is. So that should take care of that. The only thing wrong with this one essentially at the end of the day was this loose screw holding this motor in allowing the worm gear to rock back, not contact the speedometer gear and the, uh, or the odometer gear. That's the odometer motor and the odometer quit working. I've done tons of videos on Porsche speedometer odometer repairs. Uh, check out our YouTube page and go to speedometer and there's a whole bunch of...